Okay, guys, welcome. My name's Emily with Emerson's Crocheting. Now, I was just recording one video. I'm not so sure now if I'm going to post it. Um, actually, no, I'm going to because it's my Joanne's haul for today. Um, so I totally forgot I have two packages I'm expecting today. So I got really antsy and really excited um, as I heard the mailman checking in the mail. And he still got his round to do. So I'm waiting for the other package to see if maybe he has it in his van or if somebody else is going to be stopping by later. I don't know. But anyway, the first package that came in is from Kim over at Fortunate Creations. I'm excited. Um, I asked her to send me a cake of yarn and I already opened the package. I, I'm sorry, guys. I opened it without you. I had to reread the label to see who sent it because I was just too excited. Um, but her little note here, got a little card with my name on it. Look how pretty this is. I absolutely love lavender. So I think this is just really fitting that she sent this card. Um, and it says thoughtfulness is always remembered. And she got her little business card here, which is awesome. So I'm going to hang on to that. And then it says, Emily, welcome to the challenge. Hashtag Kim's Cake Challenge. Thank you for playing. I am excited to see what you make. Best. And then she signs it, Kim. So I'm, I might have to display this on my desk later. Or I told my husband, you know, we need to get like a string of lights up here on the wall, up above the desk. Because I had the ring light on earlier, but it was too, too bright. So then I turned it off, realizing I'm like blue. So I turned it back on and turned it not to the lowest setting, but just like an in-between to share some light. Not a, not too, too much because we got the curtains open and the windows open as well. Because it's like a nice like 60s degree day. I will tell you, I took the hair clip off the cake that she had on there to help secure it in place. But um, I started winding it back up. You can kind of tell, but this is the yarn barf I opened it to. And this was staticky. It was sticking to the package. So I'm opening it and I'm trying to give my husband the bag. Meanwhile, half the yarn is still attached. So I'm pretty sure she did this in rainbow, which is awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use all of this. I don't even know if I want to like separate it out to see what's there or not because I hate doing that I hate separating yarn it's I guess you could call it a pet peeve but I hate doing that um that's why like a lot of the skeins I buy multiple colors like even the um I think he's back I swear, if this mailman is making me get a workout in today. <sighs> but yeah, that's why, like, even the Pioneer Woman skeins, I did not, like, break apart because I, it, uh, eh, eh, I, I don't know. But yeah, I might have to, like, look into this because some of this does look like different textures. Like, maybe this is some one of the older cakes that she made that other people were complaining about. So I'm going to have to look at this. But I don't want to tear it apart. But now that also just means I have to like dig deep and look and see if I can find patterns. I don't typically do amigurumi and I don't think this is going to work for anything related to that. I might be able to do something for the kids. I don't know. I'm going to have to like stare at this until something comes to me. <laughs> Like when you manifest something, I'm going to have to do that. I'm just going to have to like leave it sit on the desk for a few days. So while I'm working on this challenge or when I get started, we also have my challenge in place. And I hope, let me, I'll check in a minute. I hope Kim is able to send in her email because I know she said she would. I don't want to cheat. I don't know if it would be considered cheating, but I do not want to take advantage of her challenge and use it to 
manipulate mine, I guess. I don't know if that's the right term because I don't want to end up combining two challenges, if that makes any sense. I probably could get away with it. Do I want to? No, because then that's, I don't know if that would be like the same. Like, I don't know if it would be as fun if I combined the two. Somebody help me out here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, you, you, can, you can give your input I, freely. The option's there down below to comment. I don't know. I mean, I like the feel of this blue, though. That's one thing. I, I have a hard time figuring out what a skein of yarn is without a label. Um, but some of it I can easily tell just by looking at it. But this blue, I don't know. Because that's the thing. I was playing around a little bit, like touchy, touchy feely with different skeins over at Joanne's Bay. Because I was trying to see if I could find some alpaca. Because I've never used alpaca. But they have these itty bitty little, little skeins where the labels go through the center. I don't know if there's a special name for them or not. I know skanks is one special term. But, and then you have cakes and then you got all sorts of names. But I don't know if there's a particular word or phrase for the these kind, but they're just itty bitty. And they were like, I want to say they were, the price on the shelf was like $10. And I wanted to grab three, but I only had so much in my pocket. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I walk out with these on top of the cotton and the lion brand cakes. My husband's going to kill me. It's a good thing I didn't because my daughter told me as we were in the checkout line that she was hungry. So I definitely had an excuse to go to McDonald's today to go get the half meal buckets. Um, Maeve was a little disappointed. I think she said she wanted an orange one or a white one. But she already has blue. Now she has green. So we might have to go back a couple more times to go get the other colors. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to have to work at this, figure it out, and go from there. Um, so I will keep you guys posted. And until then, like I said, the deadline, like I said in the other video where I talked about the Joann's Hall, the deadline for my challenge to submit an email is this Saturday. Yeah, I think. Let me double check that. Today's Monday, so yeah, Saturday. Saturday is the last day to submit those emails. And I'm extending it out to midnight on Saturday, just so you have the whole day to submit them. Because I understand people are busy, you've got things going on. So I'm going to say it until midnight that day. Um, oh, what is it? Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here tingling this knot. <laughs> um, yeah, I did get a good way. I did get a little bit ahead on the poncho, the blue one uh, in the color harmony. I have not touched the Pioneer Woman's one for a day or two just to give my wrist a break because it is a bit bulkier and heavier. I did work on the cardigan some this morning and there was talk about in the chat that one of the ladies isn't sure she's going to get it done in time and the lady who created the pattern said, yeah, that's totally fine. She's not sure when she's going to release it yet because it's going to be a lot later than she had anticipated. So that's where we're at with that. I want to throw this in the air, but I don't want it to unwind again. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I think that's pretty much all I had. I am going to try and work up some of the scrunchy yarn, I think, just to get it used. Um, the cotton yarn, I have to sit and manifest with that too. And my hair is an absolute mess today. 
I did not talk about it in my other recorded video. Um, so I showered yesterday morning. My hair has been in a bun since, and it is still frizzy. Granted, I did not put any product in it. And the shampoo I used was my husband's. I think it's like the Old Spice, like coconut and something else. But I used his shampoo because the shampoo I have for myself is like a level three uh, moisture control or moisture lock-in, something like that. And my hair has been really nuts since using it, like too greasy and other things. So I've been like holding it away from me. Every time I look at it, I'm like, it smells good, but I don't want to fight it. So there's that. I'm going to have to do some research and see what else everyone did for their cake challenge with Kim, because I've only ever seen Kim's video or videos, I should say, as far as when she gets challenged in return. And um, bu 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 bum. we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to challenge anyone or not, because I just kind of wanted to do it for fun. I just thought I'd say that. So um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and hop off again and we'll catch you guys later. Like I've said, I do have a Zoom meeting later on today, which is a couple hours. So I'm um, anxiously waiting for that. Who knows? Maybe by then I'll have an idea of what to do with this cake and we shall see. But yes, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you are. We are already over 100, so thanks, everyone. And um, on top of that, we are also past 115 now in the last few hours. Um, so I definitely do see that it could be possible to get up to 250 by the end of the year if we all uh, like and comment, share the videos. Um, if you guys are available to hop on the lives anytime, any day I do them, you are more than welcome to stop by, say hello, let me know what you guys are up to, even if it's not craft related. Uh, if you're just driving or you're taking a nap, let me know. Because I would love to know who stops in and uh, sees what's going on. Maybe I have something in particular that I want to ask you or... Um, Sometimes I can't stand kids. <laughs> um, or, you know, maybe I just want to say hi because you haven't been around for a live before. So with that being said, I hope to see everyone again soon. If I don't have a recorded video up later this week. Oh, before I forget, I just watched Marty's video from this morning. If you didn't already catch it, check out Floss and Crochet. Um, she mentions that she's going to have a video with the interview with me later this week. So that's just going to be in a couple days. She's also got a tutorial coming out this week. So I'm going to link her, her channel in the description so you guys can check that out. And make sure you keep an eye out for that interview. Um, because we all got to support each other and stay creative, positive, and all the things. And... Now we'll see you guys later.